So yesterday, you know, us as black Americans got to really see how black, how uh, white America feels about black people. They feel as if, um, you know, if there's not a, if, if there's, even if there's so many holes in a case, right? And there's not enough evidence to, to uh, give you the, that should warrant the death penalty. And then new evidence come to light they still will yeet your black behind because that's what that's what these people with a lineage of evil love doing they love listen america loves killing black folks point blank period whether you're innocent or guilty oh shandy you race bait no i'm not no i'm not all the people that's that side that signed what what the petition man been appealing for years the prosecutor don't want to um don't want the death penalty. The the jurors who found them guilty don't want the death penalty, and the uh the 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 victims family members don't want the death penalty, and they still yeeted yeeted him because they wanted to yeet him. Now I'm and I'm I'm a full I'm in full support of the death penalty, especially like listen if you if you grape, I just put a G in part in, in front of the R because I don't know you know if, if they gonna get mad at me for saying that word, but if you if you take a um. A man's manhood or if you take a woman's womanhood right you you deserve to to i be i, I th believe to be yeeted off the face of the planet if you mess with children you deserve to be yeeted off the face of the planet but if there's not enough evidence and new evidence come to light there should be a way to come to a halt and say hold on wait a minute this this ain't right the moral aspect of it because now, if you, like, it, it, you know, I could say that, you know, now innocent blood is on America's hand. But when, when has America not been innocent? America is guilty on everything. America is a big gang. White America, specifically, is a big gang. They, they take lives. They exploit. Look at the history. Nothing about American history was built without bloodshed of other people. Even in even in our, in the textbooks that we read about these white white heroes, right? How you discover a land that somebody was already living on? Just don't, just don't, I'm, you know, it's a, it's a whole. I could go deep with it. I could go very deep with it. But the truth of the matter is, America loves taking the lives of innocent people. White America specifically. Now again, now I shouldn't say innocent. We don't know if he was fully innocent. Right. There's some holes in the case. There's some speculation there. But the death penalty, I, I what I, all I'm saying is they could have put they could have pulled they could have came to a halt. They could have, but they didn't want to because he's black. If you're black, you're guilty. Point blank, period. You was around the crime. You're probably guilty of the crime. And then what is this about? And then what is this about a, a, a black a black boy um, couldn't even. A, a, a black teenager couldn't be part, somebody. A black person couldn't be part of the trial because he was a black man with glasses. I mean, he couldn't be part of the juror, jurors because he was a black man with glasses. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I saw a picture of Marcellus Williams wearing glasses. Is it because that the black boy would have identified and saw himself? In a situation where, oh, they profiled a black man with a, with glasses. I'm just asking questions here. I'm not trying to say that's what happened. I'm just asking questions. That's stupid. Anyway, back to the point. America loves uh, yeeting innocent innocent people. Then they always want to talk about go back to your country. Go back to your mountain. That's what they love to say. Go back to your country. Man, my people fought to be here. My people, my people fought to be here. This just as much, this land is just as much black folks as it is the uh, Caucasians. But more, but more, more of the, more of uh, any of that, you know, it's it's more of the Native Americans' land. L listen, you want black folks to leave and go back to their country? Then y'all, then Caucasians, pack up your stuff and go back to your country, and then give the natives back their land. Period. Black folks, what is it gonna take? For y'all to unify and come together as 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 one army, to say enough is enough. And I know I probably shouldn't be saying this online, but oh well, 
Because at, at some point, bro, as black people, we got we to gotta be bold and say it how it is. What point do we say enough is enough? Forget the gender war. Forget this black man versus black woman stuff. At what point do you say, I'm tired of, I, I'm tired? At what point does the black man and the black woman be ready to say, you know what? I'm willing to die for my people. Put aside the BS, put aside our differences, and actually go after the ones that are in power, that love to yeet um, black folks. And I'm not saying go after as in take, they, take you know, their lives or nothing. I'm saying, you know, take a bold stand more than marching. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, I said what I said, man. Y'all have a good day. Y'all be safe out there. Y'all be encouraged and, and be blessed in Jesus' name, man. I, I'm, I'm just tired.